Salvate de Scipuli. So today we are going to um, have a very short video, um, which is the third and final video for chapter two in Latin for the new millennium. Um, and this video is going to cover the present active infinitive and subject verb agreement. So let's talk about the present active infinitive. Now here's the thing about infinitives. Infinitives are just action. Okay, they are just action. They do not have person or number. They have tense, they have voice, and they have a form. Of course, the infinitive that you're going to be learning today is present tense, active voice, and the form is the infinitive, okay? And they are just the action. In Latin, the present active infinitive is the second principal part. So for amo, amare, amawi, amatum, um, the present active infinitive is amare. For widio, widere, widi, wisum, it's widere, okay? In English, we translate the present active infinitive as to blank. So amare would be to love. It's just the action, to love, okay? Widere is to see. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the present active infinitive. The second thing that we need to cover in this video is something called subject verb agreement. Um, so let me explain. Third person verbs can have a subject in the, in the nominative, okay? First and second person verbs are always going to translate according to their person and number. So first person singular is always going to translate I whatever, I love. Um, second person singular, you love. First person plural, we love. Second person plural, y'all love. Or you love. Whatever. However, the third person singular and plural could take a subject in the nominative. Okay? So instead of translating a mot, um, he, she, or it, you could translate it with some subject in the nominative. So let's look at a couple examples of that. In the first sentence, agriculam amat, we would translate this, he loves the farmer or she loves the farmer or something like that. We actually really don't know because you can translate amat, he, she, or it. But in the second sentence, which is practically the same, except with the addition of a subject, right? Puella, which is nominative singular, is now the subject of this third person verb, the puella amat agriculum, the girl loves the, the farmer. This is true of plural um, verbs as well. So agricolas amat, they love the farmers. Um, but if we add puellae as our nominative plural to be the subject of amat, it's now the girls love the farmers, okay? What's important to realize about here, this, is that the number of the nominative has to match the number of the verb. So for example, here with Puella, we have the nominative singular, and that's good because our verb is a third person singular. With Puella, we have a nominative plural, which is good because our verb is third person plural. Okay, so that's what subject verb agreement means. It means that if you have a subject, it has to be singular if the verb is singular or plural if the verb, verb is plural. All right, short, sweet, and to the point. I hope you guys have a lovely night and I will see you um, in class. Walete.